how many of you in this room know how to ride a bike? That's every hand in here. Equity, right? Everyone can ride a bike. If we can design systems for transportation that are safe and for everyone, that sounds equitable to me. So, back in 2018, uh, we were looking at our streets, in particular First Drive, in which there are several very, very dangerous intersections. And we posed a question to our civil engineering classroom, uh, the College of Civil Engineering, as how can we make this safer and is there a solution? So a student group took that question and ran with it and came up with an idea of the cycle track as opposed to the split lane condition that we have now. At first thought, everyone thinks, well, cycle tracks and all the inventory and all the data tells you that cycle tracks are not safer than the split lane condition. However, our current condition, our place, which is important to think about, with terrain, the intersections of roads, how they are designed, and how people travel through them, resulted in data that told us there were less opportunities for crashes with bikes and cars on the inner edge of first drive all the way around than there are with its current design being split. So that was a student project. We then took that student project, had it verified by professional engineers, um, then went into full design of that project. And I, I bring this point up that it was a student project because that's an important thing. There are numerous student projects that happen here at Georgia Tech. And as a learning institution, those projects then influence what we do. I'm pretty sure most of you know that the Beltline here in Atlanta was originally a student project. That's pretty impactful. So, we took that design, that idea, took it out to um, the engineers, they've studied it, they worked through all the processes. Remember I said this was 2018 when we started. We are now in the process of building that infrastructure for first drive, which is why all those barriers are out there, and as painful as it is, we'll get there. We're also in the process of building a cycle track along Techwood Drive, which will connect into that, which also connects to Centennial, will, has the potential to connect to Centennial Olympic Park to the south. Tech Parkway, as you know, was a bike infrastructure that was built in 2016, which will also be connected to on the south side. So all these connections start to provide an opportunity for adjacent and surrounding neighborhoods to easily access Georgia Tech in a safe manner. Um, safety was a huge, huge part of this discussion. We understood that the you know, aggressive cyclists that ride across country and ride all over town, they're comfortable riding in the street. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed for those students that come from rural USA, wherever that might be, that may have never left a cul-de-sac on a bike. If we can design it to them, then we've designed a safe system. The proposed system or planned system that's being built will not have buses crossing into the bike lane anymore. That's done. It's going to slow traffic down a little bit, but the buses are going to be stopping in street, which will allow people to get on and off safely, whether it's called a floating bus stop. That then gives the buses headway, so they're not waiting to try and sneak back out into traffic, causing hazardous conditions. So be patient, slow down, and enjoy the ride. So that's a super important thing. Just to give you a sense of scale, how many miles of bike infrastructure we're doing, working on just on campus, we're working on two and a quarter miles right now, active construction. That's in the ballpark, $30 million worth of work that Georgia Tech is funding. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, I think I've gone around the world once. I'm not real sure. And if you are, have any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Um, hopefully, you appreciate the work that's going on out there. I realize it's painful. It's kind of like you've got to break some eggs to make the omelet. We're in that breaking egg stage and getting everyone to understand it is sometimes challenging, but we'll get there. Thank you.